حمدا طيبا مباركا فيه نحمده جل وعلا ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونتوب إليه ونشهد شهادة عبد مؤمن أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وحبيبنا وقائدنا سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إمام الأنبياء وخاتمهم أنزل الله على قلبه كتابه فبلغه رسولنا صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم فصلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين وعنا معهم بعفوك وكرمك ومنك يا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد فيا أيها المؤمنون أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله أوصيكم ونفسي بأن لا نموت إلا مسلمين All praises due to Allah, the Almighty. Allah, the Creator. Allah, who created us and created everything in this life for us. And we pray and cry to Allah. There is no God but Him. And we testify that our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the seal of all the Prophets, the Imam of all the Prophets, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to his heart the divine revelation, the Quran. In it, everything we want to know about what's going on into the, this life and in the hereafter. In the Quran, Allah mentioned about Ayyamullah. So don't forget Ayyamullah. فذكرهم بأيام الله. and one of them, as we in the month of Rajab, is events we call it Al Isra or Al Mi'raj. some of them they don't want to mention it. it's up to them, but it's in the Quran. Allah mentioned it in two surahs. as a miracle of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. To have three proofs to us. Allah the Almighty. Allah the Creator. Allah the Almighty who sent the revelation into the heart of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in Mecca, in the Mount of Light, to let the whole minds and hearts of the world and the universe, our beloved Prophet. At the 11 years of his revelation to his heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, gave him events. They called this year Amul Huzn, the sadness year, unto the heart of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. In that year, his uncle Abu Talib passed away. And the strongest supporter to him, she also passed away. Ummul Mu'mineen Khadija, radiyallahu anha wa arda. Fakana al-alamu fi qalb al-nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. After he been besieged in one of the mountains, the hills of Mecca for years. And all of this is for this message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because he called upon the people of Mecca to enlighten their heart and in their mind to believe in the oneness of Allah and see the miracles around them. But they refused. And they came against him. They came against his dawah, even his closest in kin to him. That's why they fight us for Islam. They fight us because we are among those they say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. In that year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, showed the Prophet, peace be upon him, the infinite miracle. He took him 
from Makkah, from the house of Ummul Mu'mineen, Umm Muhana. He took him to a sacred holy site of Jerusalem, Al Masjid Al Aqsa. And from there, he ascended him up to the heaven and beyond all of what we know. It's stated in Surah Al Najm and stated in Surah Al Isra. بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي أسرع بعبده من المسجد الحرام إلى المسجد الأقصى glorified be to Allah who took on this night journey his servant and he called him his servant because he is sincere and loyal to Allah. From the mosque of Mecca, Al Masjid Al Haram, the sacred mosque of Mecca. And at that time, Mecca, there was a mosque in Mecca. Al Masjid Al Haram, Lam Yakum Masjid Am Badu Fi Mecca, the sacred mosque of Al Haram wasn't a masjid for the Muslims in Makkah yet. And he took him by the angel of Al Burak to fly him to that far distance from Makkah to Al Aqsa, to Jerusalem, the sacred land that Allah placed around it, the sacred land that many prophets before our beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, born and deliver a message and buried in that sacred area, in that sacred land, in the blessed land that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described to all of us. You know that Prophet Ishmael born in Palestine. You know that Prophet Ishaq born in Palestine. You know that their grave in is Al-Aqsa. And you know that Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, Abu al-Anbiya, born in Al-Khalil, in Jerusalem, in Palestine, in that area. And you know that our beloved Prophet Isa came as a miraculous birth to this world by his mother, Virgin Mary, born in Palestine, in Bethlehem, and also when they thought they killed him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul and raised him body and soul to the heaven in Palestine. So Isa alayhi salam, he was a Palestinian. And they cannot deny that. And they cannot wipe this from their Bibles and their books. You want to prove? We could show you. We have so many Bibles here in your center, in your mosque about four year, hundred years old. And we have 280 years old. And we have 118 years old. All of them in the office, if you would like to see by yourself, you could read and you could see what we are talking about. In that land, the prophet, peace be upon him, landed in the blessed land of Palestine, in Jerusalem, in Al-Aqsa, Baytul Maqdis. And there, what well, we call it today, Masjid al Sakhra. The Prophet, peace be upon him, led all the Imams to pray. They choose him to be the Imam to pray. And this is to prove that Al Masjid al Aqsa is going to be the place of worship at that time, wasn't So Allah, Anzala, Bisharataini, Wa Ayataini. لسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بأن أعلن له أن المسجد الحرام سيكون مسجدا وأن المسجد الأقصى سيكون مسجدا أيضا الله سبحانه وتعالى براد تو ساينز تو أول بلوف بروفيت محمد بيس بي أبان هم it's a glad tiding that to inform the Prophet that Al Masjid Al Haram is going to be the Masjid for the Muslims. And Al Masjid Al Aqsa is going to be the Masjid for the Muslims. And there he led all the Prophets 
May the peace of blessings of Allah to be upon them. And this is to prove to all of us that this event is for us to believe in the oneness of the message from Allah and the message always Al-Islam. Who named you Muslims? Sayyidina Ibrahim. And you know what he prays to Allah. He is the one named us Muslims from before. So all the prophets and messengers, he is the father of them. The prophets are brothers and their religion is one. And from there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed our prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to ascend all the way to the heaven, accompanied by the Irish angel, angel Jibreel. فصعد به إلى السماء الأولى والثانية والثالثة والرابعة والخامسة والثالثة وفي كل كانت مقاما للأنبياء فرفعه الله تعالى فوقهم إلى أن وصل إلى سدرة المنتهى فوجد نفسه وحيدا فنادى يا أخي يا جبريل لما تركتني قال هذا مقامك إن اخترقت احترقت فهذا مقامك يا محمد فنودي عليه فاقترب إلى شدرة المنتهى هذا رسولنا This is our prophet which be upon him who Allah سبحانه وتعالى miraculously Raise him all the way to Sidrat al Muntaha, the end place that man can put his foot. He looked behind him. He said, Oh, Prophet Jibreel, Messenger Jibreel, where are you? You left me. He said, Oh, Muhammad, if I pass, I will be burned. This is your status in life. That is your. So. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, wants him to see all his signs as a blessings from Allah. Allah showed him all the signs. Allah showed him the largest, the biggest sign ever in heaven. And Allah, the Almighty, on that night, command upon Muslims, decreed upon Muslims all the prayers that we pray. In the beginning, it was 50. When he was coming down, the prophets told the Muhammad, peace be upon him. He said to our beloved prophet, you know your ummah cannot bear 50 prayers. He went back to Allah and requested to reduce it. Allah Almighty reduce it to five. إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا. And the Prophet peace be upon him received from Allah the miracle that we pray five times but equal to fifty times in the world. And Allah subhanahu wa taala gave it to us. So every time you pray. You pray five, you pray every al-hasana to be ashri amsa amthaliha. When you pray five, by ten, this is fifty. So you're getting the fifty rewards by Allah the merciful, Allah the generous to all of us to forgive us and love us. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, came down, he went back from Jerusalem to Mecca. I would like Two minutes from your attention. Jerusalem, Palestine, Al Murtasaba, Tunadikum, Al Muhtalla, Tashrahu fi Kulubikum, Palestine, Palestine, that the name is engraved in all the sacred books of Allah. That is a blessed land, the sacred land. 
the occupied land calling upon us. Don't ignore what you hear. Don't ignore what you see. Our tears come down by itself when we see what we saw. Brothers and sisters, believers, you have the power. You have the power to do what you should. We have the power to do what I should. We should stand up. Don't be lined up. Don't put your head in the sand. Don't say it's not mine. It's a Muslim. It is a land where our prophet, peace be upon him, came on this miraculous night from Mecca to Jerusalem to Palestine to the place where all the sacred and honored prophet, peace be upon him, born and buried. We cannot say it's not ours. Every Muslim, every Muslim has an obligation from Allah to stand up in the way that you can. And you can. By every means, we can. We have to stand. As I'm proud of this city, this small city took the national and international stand. This city refused to meet with them a week ago. And they felt, oh, that's too much for them. Because your voice has a power. And the election is coming. The primary is coming. And the election in November is coming. We let them know. We're not going to elect any barbaric, genocidal, kill humanity. We are not going to vote for those. Their hands is full with the blood of innocent people. I'm not going to say Muslim, Arab, but human. Where is their hearts and minds? Their house is dead. They stand to tell them, stop, cease fire. Only we're not asking anymore. They don't because they are partners. And the prophet told you that before. Don't you see it? It's being unfolded before our eyes and minds. You see, ko an tada alaykum al umma mo kama tada al akla tu ala khasatiha. قالوا أمن خلة نحن يوم إذن يا رسول الله قال بل أنتم كثير غثاء كغثاء السيل ولا ينزع أن الله المهابة من صدوركم ويورث ما في صدوركم من الوهن قالوا وما الوهن يا رسول الله قال حب الدنيا وكراهية الموت this is the saying of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who went on the journey of miracle journey to heaven. He's telling you the truth, telling you about all of these evil and devil workers in their plan. They ganged up upon us, upon Muslims. Why all of this? It's for this life and for getting control and power and mighty power of this life. And he said, they don't really care about you. But the Prophet, Allah told him, لَقَدْ نُصِرْتُ بِالرَّعْبِ The Prophet, peace be upon him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in the heart of all the enemies that they fear him because he sincerely, devotedly believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the message to spread peace, love, equality, justice, all of that, our mission and our message. They gang upon us. They deliver weapons, as Allah said in Surah Al-Isra, to the children of Israel, that you are going to have so much power, and you will have all the people come to Lafifa. Read the Quran. Understand it. And that's what is happening before our eyes and mind. And when you say international law and humanity is for certain people, not for us. So we have 
to have a sheep follows power. How? Your vote. How? Your action. How? You stand and say it loud and don't give up if you are a human and you would like to defend your humanity. Don't let your heart to die at this point. Stand up. Rise up. Walk as a believer in Allah. Then they will listen to you. That's what they have articles in the newspaper. Listen to Michigan. Read it. Listen to Michigan. What are we doing? We don't have any power other than our vote. But you have the right to ask about your taxpayer money, where your taxes are going. You have the right to vote. You have the right to question them. You have the right to come down to the Congress, to the Senate, to the White House and stand there and let them know. We gather, oh, we gather so many for a wedding. Thousands of us. And we'll come with paying, you know, a gift, 200, 300. I want to tell you, let us stand for our rights. How many shows up? Tell me how many. You busy? busy? Okay, stay busy. Stay busy. Stay busy. Stay busy. Stay busy. You have, have to take it to your heart and be sincere and be devoted. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless and protect all of you and your family. Allahumma balakht, Allahumma fashhad. The miracle of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is to make sure that the truthfulness is clear in our hearts and we act upon it. We practice it, not just only we say it. So let me see how many of you will be able to stand up. We have so many events is coming. So do it sincerely and devotedly and have a clear conscience. Have a clear conscience. You want answers to your questions? Stop by. We will help you. We know that the millage is coming for the school system, for the Henry Ford College, for all of that. We support all of the education, but we have a right to question where it's going. We have to ask. It's not just you pay it and forget it. Stand up, rise up, be a sincere, devoted believer standing for humanity. May Allah bless you and may Allah reward you and may Allah accept all forgiveness. Let us pray to Allah as the Prophet commands us. At-ta'ibu min al-dambi kaman la dambala. Udu Allah wa antum mukinun bil ijaba. The story has to be continued. But I praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say alhamdulillahi wa kafa. Wa salatu wa salamu ala man istafa. Sayyidina wa habibina wa hadina Sayyidina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallama ajma'in wa anna ma'ahum bi'afwika wa karamika wa mannika ya alham al-rahmin. Ayyuhal muslimoon, ayyuhal mu'minoon, اتقوا الله في أنفسكم وأولادكم وأسركم ووزاليتكم وما عليكم أن تقوموا به. It's not one man job. It's collectively we have to stand together. Collectively we have to stand to protect ourselves, our families, our communities, and our society as well. Not just the Muslim society or the Arab society, but all the society. This is our job to bring to them the light that Allah gave you, the light that Allah blessed you with, the message of Allah. The message of Allah so they make us all equal to live in peace and harmony. And let us all together pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the continuous blessing unto the heart of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. As Allah said, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhu alladheena amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Kama sallaita ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ala Sayyidina Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ala Sayyidina Ibrahim. Fil alameen inna ka... Oh Allah, you see where we are. You see what we have in our hearts. Oh Allah, help us. Oh Allah, empower us in our salvation. Oh Allah, have mercy and forgiveness upon us. Oh Allah, you know the direction. And you're the only one to provide for us a wise man to lead our community and our society. Oh, say ameen. Wa akhim salata inna salata tanha'an fahshay wa munkar. Wa la dhikru Allahi akbar. Wa Allahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un. Akhim salata. 
الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن